The Demco Green Card 22 series from Custom Modding is almost here. Yo, what's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a first look and showcase of Custom Modding's Demco 22 series green card. This has been made in conjunction with Demco. They've sent over all of the colors, specs, things like that that have need to be done. So this is one of the most true to real life models that you are going to find in Farming Simulator. Plus, it brings Dimco into the game as well. You know, we've got, I think we got three or four mods from Dimco now, but this, I think this is the first auger wagon. Very cool there. Plus, you know, custom modding, they kill it with everything. We have an 1100 and a 1300 to look at today. So you know what? Let's get right into it. First off, you're going to want to know where to find this. What you want to do is go into tools, go into auger wagons, and you're going to find it in here. There it is. The Dimco 22 series. Again, you have the 1100 and you have the 1300. These are going to hold all of your standard auger wagon crops. So keep that in mind. And then you have 44,048 liters in the 1100 and 50,215 liters in the 1300 version they do have some larger versions i believe coming in the future the 17 and the 22 but those are not here yet 300 horsepower required and 240 horsepower recommended for both of these so let's jump in let's start with the smaller version the 1100 series so we've got rim color we have white we have what looks to be about a base game gray and we also have black as well which is my favorite main color you have gray you have green, could be a John Deere green, red, or maybe you're around a case red, blue, you know, New Holland fans out there, and we have a black, which is my favorite, but we're going to change everything up to gray on this one. Wheel brands, we have Michelin tires on here, we have Midas tires, we have Goodyear, Those, these will be Lizard, only console version, and we have the Camso TTS 110 tracks. These will also be a Lizard brand on the console version. Looks very good, by the way, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Decals, what do we got here? Well, we have standard decals. We have red. We have a USA look with the gray and red logos. We have the Canadian look with the gray and red logos. And then we are back to standard. I think the red looks awesome. We're gonna leave that on there. We have a scale. Yes, we have a scale. That's gonna tell you exactly what your weight is for everything. You've even got a full display on there too. If you wish, you can add quite a few different things with that. We have a hitch. Do you wanna add that? Yeah or no? Of course you wanna put a hitch on the back of your auger wagon. Let's go, yeah. Front chain, no or yes. So you've got a chain that you can add to the front right there. Oversized sign. This thing is really, really cool. So we have no, we have just an oversized sign. Not too crazy about that. Then we have the support and support with lights and full lights. Now, this oversized load sign will actually change. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Then we have the electric or uh, electric tarp Sherco 4500. The animation on this, I don't know how long it took them to make this, but it is super, super cool. You want that. You, you always want that. And that is all the customization for the 1100. Now, you're going to find very similar customization on the 22 1300. Rim color, they're all the same. Main color, they are all the same through there. Wheel brands, I can get my thing. Oh, there we go. Michelin, Midas, Goodyear, and Camso. So we've got all those on there. Decals, yeah, the decals are all the same, aren't they? Yeah. Scale, absolutely the same through there. We have the same hitch on the back. We have the same front chain on the front. We have the same oversized sign, which again, very cool stuff through there. And we have the same tarp. So let's take a look around. This is a fully customized, fully specced out version of the 1300. If you guys are curious what I'm pulling it with, pulling it with a modded Fent 1050 Vario. So you can see right here, we have the tracks on here, the Camso tracks. You can see all of the bolts through here. Every single one is going to be individually placed. I don't even want to know how long this thing took. It's insane. You can see we do have the tarp on the top. There you go. Just like that. We'll show you that unfolding here shortly. We do have stairs, which kind of work. And then just, I mean, more crazy, crazy detail all the way around. I do have the chains installed on this one, but of course the chains aren't hooked to anything. It's just kind of there, it just is what it is. And then around back, we have the full set of lights with the oversized sign 
and with the hitch. You guys want to see this thing in action? Let's jump over here. Let's turn on our help window so you can see exactly what I am doing. So first, obviously, you've got your auger in and out. This is all normal stuff. You guys probably know exactly how that works. Then we have the Sherlock. Let's go ahead and start that. The process will start and it will start rolling. Yes, starts to get the roll on. Just like so, you can see we've got animations of arms down here on the bottom, right over. We don't have much like this in game. And to have something like that, that looks that good, especially from custom awning is great to see. Now check this out. What? Yo, we can change this like straight up. So you've got wide load option and you have oversized load option. How cool is this right here? I imagine because this and because of this release, we're probably going to see other things like this in the future. Not only for custom awning, but probably other guys as well. And I'm all for it. I'm totally cool with that. Otherwise, well, not a whole lot. It's just, I mean, it is just an auger wagon at the end of the day. Here is, well, we've got a uh, Case IH Magnum 400 right there. This is the smaller version. This is the 1100, and I've done no customization to it whatsoever. So we start off with the Michelin tires, which again, look fantastic. We've also got again, details all the way around. <laughs> you can just look at this for hours. Custom modding have brought us a couple really other, a uh, couple cool things, including the early riser planter as well. You guys remember that we showed that off the detail on that was just, it was just ridiculous, wasn't it? Yes, it was. So. I got a little setup here. So I've got an X9 combine with corn and I have the TLX Phoenix with the Super B trailer. So let's get over there and let's help out just a little bit. Let's go ahead and auger out. And we are going to, you know what? Go ahead and turn on, yeah. All the way, all the way, four way flashers. I don't know if this is gonna fit or not, but we're about to find out. So this should give you an idea of some of the larger pieces of equipment into the game oh come on go right there there we go so as you can see whoop, <laughs> that thing is shooting it off to the side a little bit that's all right let's go and turn this on real quick so we are running you guys know how fast the nine or the x9 unloads this thing is unloading it just as fast and also uh yeah there's there's a lot going in here as you can see i've got a modded version of that trailer it's very, very, very quick. As a matter of fact, let's cheat just a, just a little bit. Let's let's put some corn in here. So we have a full thing of corn, and then let's just see how long it takes. Probably won't take very long at all. Yeah. So there's a thousand, a thousand, a thousand. So you can tell this thing is unloading extremely fast. We're already at 75% done right there. I'm not sure how fast the one in real life unloads, but I'm sure it's probably something like this. What do you think about this? I think it's awesome. I think it's really, really cool. And you could hook up basically whatever you want to the back of this and be just fine. It is a, ooh, look at the PTO going right there. That looks great. Again, just another animation that Customizing didn't have to add. They did. They absolutely did. This is the... <laughs> getting goosebumps here looking at this thing right now oh it's so cool well, guys, that is gonna be it for today's first look at the Dimco 22 series grape cards from custom awning again they should be out within the next few days so make sure you check your mod folders for those all being said i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure you drop a like get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the gohan fam make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos no matter what they may be here on the channel all being said Hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.